and we've just had a nominal liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload on its way to its targeted orbit. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. Starlink tension rod separation confirmed. If you manage to catch the cart as it's blasting off, you'll get sent flying. Unfortunately, we can't use it as a trampoline. Landing on the cart again after being launched by it just causes us to phase through it. After seeing the tallest payload map, what happens on the longest payload map? This is PLR Desert Bus. It features a really long straight track. I suppose this makes sense, but no matter how fast it goes, it won't derail. On the opposite end of the spectrum, Cactus Canyon. On Thunder Mountain, the cart seems extra existential. When I push it, it comes back and freaks out for a while. After enough shaking, it settles down and I can push it again. Sometimes after a round of intense shaking, it literally ends up on the verge of suicide. Sometimes it even manages to jump off but it just ominously floats there. If I reset the payload speed to default, it will slowly realign with the tracks and continue as normal. As it turns out, Banana Bay is actually a map commissioned by the creators of Beyblade. While it's hard to deny that payload cards have feelings, another reason the cards double back is because of the rollback zones. It seems the rollback zones cause the cards to apply its speed in the opposite direction, which is why it decides to backtrack and sit there vibrating. If I disable all the rollback zones in the map, the cart happily barrels forward as usual. Multi-stage payload maps are like watching Harry Potter movies. On Gold Rush Stage 1, it just flies forward, caps, and disappears. A similar story for Hoodoo on Stage 1 and Stage 2. The common thread between these two maps is that upon reaching the end of a stage, the cards play a transitional animation that hides them under the map. So presumably the carts are disappearing because they're being unloaded. Upward is pretty disappointing because it's unfortunately not possible to send the cart flying off the cliff. Since the tracks are laid out like a spiral, when the cart derails, it immediately slams itself against the nearest wall to the left. However, on the last point, we can induce the cart into limp dick mode. I don't understand how the rocket launcher influences the cart this way, but it just does. Sticky bombs can also push the cart. After an hour of real world time with the game running at 20 times speed, I can etch the cart into the pit and trigger the end of round explosion. The reason this happens is that at the end of most payload maps, the cart falling isn't an animation but instead a physics simulation. It would be possible to prevent the cart from triggering the final explosion in a real game. But I don't think it's normally possible to produce an explosive force big enough to nudge it as it falls. 
On nightfall, the cart does a sick flip. Finally, for whatever reason, on maps like Frontier and Enclosure, the cart simply no clips through the walls and straight into the final checkpoint. If you want to try this yourself, check out the paste bin in the description. Touch vehicle, you're going to get left behind really rapidly. 